Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the concept syntax director translation for Boolean expressions. SDT is the short form of syntax director translation. In our previous lecture, we have seen about the SDT for assignment statements. Now, let us see the Boolean expressions in SDT. Boolean expressions have two primary purposes. First one is they are used for computing the logical values and second one is they are used as conditional expressions in if then else or while do statements. Consider this grammar as an example for understanding this concept. We have the productions which is related to R operation, AND operation, NOT operation, assignment operation and then relational expression or conditional expression and then uh, Boolean operators like true and false. This relational operator can be either less than, greater than, equal to or not equal to. Before going to the semantic actions, let us uh, see the terminologies used in the semantic actions. One function is emit function which is used to generate the 3 address code and new temp of function is used to generate the temporary variables. Consider this production rules and associated semantic actions for each rule. So, we will see one by one. First rule is E tends to E1 or E2. So, that is R operation. So, we create the new temporary variable in the position of E. And after creating the temporary variable, perform the R operation of E1 and E2. And the result is stored in the position of E dot place, which is nothing but the new temporary variable created. Next, we have AND operation. In the same way, the new temporary variable is created in the position of E. AND operation is performed and that result will be stored in the E dot place, which is the temporary variable created. Next, we perform the NOT operation in the same way and we have assignment operation. Here, 3 address code is not generated. Just this value in E1 is assigned to E. We have relational expression here. ID1 relational operator ID2. Here we create the temporary variable in the position of E, then emit the following three address codes. So the first one is if this condition, that is if ID1 relational operator ID2 becomes true, then go to the next statement plus 3. Here next statement is the current statement number. Assume that the current statement if is having the number 100. So, 100 plus 3 means it will be going to 103. What is there in 103? It is 101, 102 and 103. So, in 103 we have E dot place is equal to 1. That means true, 1 indicates true. So, if this condition is true, it has to go to this truthfulness of the statement. Suppose if the condition becomes false, then it has to go to the next statement in 101 that is indicating false in the, uh, in the terms of 0. Suppose this condition becomes false, we have to skip this statement uh, that is true statement has to be skipped. So, for that reason following the false statement, we have emit of go to next statement plus 2. Next statement is current statement number. So, in this case the uh, current statement number will be 102. So, 102 plus 2 it will be 104 which is next to the true statement. So, it will not execute the 103 statement. So, this is the logic behind this uh, expression. Next we have uh, E tends to true and E tends to false. True indicates truthfulness. So, we create the new temporary variable in the position of E and assign 1 to indicate the truthfulness and in here we use a 0 to indicate the false. Now, let us consider an example. Here we have the Boolean expression P greater than Q and R less than S or U greater than R. Let us generate the 3 address code for this. So, before generating the 3 address code, we have to construct the parse tree. So, the parse tree is constructed as uh, first root node will be start symbol. So, start symbol here is E and then this E can be expanded according to the rule number 1. Since we have R operation here, we use the rule number 1 to expand this E. So, E can be E or E. So, instead of E1, E2, we are just using E in this example. And we have used R operation. Next, we, we need AND operation also. So, this E can be expanded as E and E according to the rule number 2. So, we have E and E. And then, uh, we have uh, the expressions P greater than Q, R less than S and U greater than R. 
So, in this case we can go for this rule that is id1 relation operator id2. So, here id1 is considered as p and id2 is q and relation operator is greater than. So, this e can be expanded as p greater than q. In the same way this e can be written as r less than s and this e can be written as u greater than r. Now, we have constructed the pass tree. Next, we have to generate the three address code. Let us parse this tree in the bottom up parsing method. Bottom up means we have to start from the leaf to root. So, uh, consider this is the leaf node. So, we have uh, this uh, id1 relation operator id2 which is reduced to e. So, we have to go to this semantic action. So, what we have in this uh, semantic action e dot place is equal to new temporary variable. That is in this position we have to create a new temporary variable. So, let it be the uh, T1. So, after creating the new temporary variable we have to emit the 3 address code. So, let us uh, mention the 3 address code here. So, we will give the line number for each statement here. So, 100 is the line number of this statement. So, here what we have if condition emit of if id1 dot place relation operator id2 dot place. So, in id1 dot place we have p. So, that is what we have p here and id2 dot, dot place is q. Relation operator is greater than. If this condition becomes true, we have to go to next statement plus 3 that is current statement number plus 3, 100 plus 3, 103. After this in 101 we have to mention this statement e dot place is equal to true. So, e dot place here is t1. So, it is mentioned as 0. In 102 we have to write this statement go to next statement plus 2. That is current statement plus 2 means 102 plus 2 it will be going to 104. Now, in 103 this statement has to be mentioned that is e dot place is equal to 1 which is nothing but t1 is equal to 1. Now, Next, we have to consider r less than s. So, r less than s again is the id1 relation operator id2. So, we have to again create the new temporary variable which is t2 here and after that again write the 3 address code according to this statement similar to what we have done here. So, up to this it is related to p greater than q. Now, we are going to write for r less than s. So, in the line number 104, we are checking for if condition if r less than s. If it is true, go to next statement plus 3 that is current statement number plus 3 that is 104 plus 3 it will be 107. Next, we have to mention e dot place is equal to uh, 0. So, in this case e dot place is t2. So, it is mentioned as 0. Next, we will be having go to next statement plus 2. So, current statement number is 106, 106 plus 2 it will be going to 108. Next e dot place is equal to 1 which is nothing but t2 is equal to 1 and next we are creating here new temporary variable. This is according to e and e which is reduced to e. So, in this case we have to consider this uh, production. So, we have in the position of e new temporary variable which is nothing but t3 and then emit the 3 address code. So, in the line number 108 we have to write t3 that is e dot place is equal to t3 is equal to e1 dot place is t1 and e2 dot place is t2. So, that is what mentioned here. Next, we have to come towards this right side leaf node. We have u greater than r. So, u greater than r can be reduced to e. So, go for this rule again. So, create a new temporary variable in the position of e which is nothing but t4. And after that write the 3 address code according to this statement. So, check the condition in 109 if u greater than r then go to next statement plus 3. So, current statement plus 3 109 plus 3 112. Next e dot place is equal to 0. So, t4 will be 0. Next will be go to next statement plus 2. So, current statement number plus 2 111 plus 2 will be 113 and mention e dot place is equal to 1 which is t4 is equal to 1. And next we will be moving towards up. So, E or E will be reduced to E. So, in this case we have to move to the rule number 1. So, create the new temporary variable in the position E which is T5 
and perform the uh, three address code that is emit of e dot place is equal to e1 dot place or e2 dot place so e dot place is t5 mention it in the line number 113 so t5 is equal to e1 dot place is t3 and e2 dot place is t4 so thus we have generated the three address code using the parse tree thank you